Hey y'all, it's your girl Stace in the place. And I have a little Miss Winnie Benny. You say hi. And we have a little Bath and Body Works haul for y'all. Um, it is a little bit of semi-annual sale, but a lot of spring. So let's jump right into it. Um, so first off, I had to pick this up. I saw it on this guy's shops on his Instagram, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's the cutest little thing with the little bee in the honeycomb. Like, adorbs and it adorbs and i love how it's also um it's a 24 7 light and it even has scent control um so we pick that up winnie benny can i sit you down just like girl <laughs> um, and then you know i couldn't go with just one so i ended up picking up two um they're reward eligible they're 14.95 so it was a great thing to pick up with the reward are you yeah, you checking it out? All right, and then we also um, picked up the cute little lemons, and these are adorable. They are also light up um, for 24-7, and they are, well, it is scent control. Do you like the lemons? Which one do you like better? you like the lemons better or the, um, or the bee? Yeah, you checking it out? Oh, you're a mess. You're a mess, girl. Okay, here, let's see who's over here this way. Um, let's see. What else? What else we've got going on? Mm. Okay, here, let's jump into our little body care. That was tragic. <laughs> I know. I was like, why is she making all this loud noise? Um, so I picked up another ballet nights. It smells. Oh, it smells so good. Here, let's spray a little bit on. Mm. It just, I don't know, it smells girly. What do you think? You like it? It's like, mm. <clears throat> wow, Winnie. So it smells like a little sweet, but not, it's not one of those like super overpowering sweet fragrances. And I feel like it would nicely mix with a lot of things. The first thing that comes to mind is Valentino Born Aroma Donna. And honestly, you could mix it with any of the Donna's. Um, this, I think this is my second one. Um, so it says it has uh, wild plum, glowing amber, and tonka cream. That's funny, tonka cream instead of tonka bean. But I feel like this one is a great one um, to pick up for 75% off. I mean, why not, why not? Um, and then I was waiting for these to go 75% off. So this is Northern Bright. Ah. Um, and it has a eucalyptus and pine. And these are the body washes. These are the only two body washes that were left in the store. So I was super excited um, to pick them up for 75% off. Yeah, Winnie? You like it? It's like, oh, finally, something that smells familiar, like some trees. Um, and then I also picked up some candles. So this is Purple Patchouli. This one's nice and powdery. What do you think, Wayne? Oh, she's lingering there for a little bit. Maybe Purple Patchouli has a chance. Um, yes, but it's very powdery. And I'm here for it. And um, this candle, I picked this one up with the rewards. Um, I don't know. I feel like this is a great time for rewards and stuff. Um, just because all of these new single weights are coming out. And uh, it was funny when I went to the store, I was like, can I separate my two, I, had a, I mean, separate my two um, little orders, well, not orders, but like separate things because I wanted to get my, um, the wallflower plugins and then the, all my candles separate to make sure that I use rewards for those and that the rewards did not jump onto these three because I'm like, these are 75% off. I don't want to waste, well, it's not a waste, but I would rather use the full like $16.95 or $14.95 of my rewards. Um, so if you ever kind of run into that and you're picking up some stuff you want your rewards to go to, and um, some clearance items. Just make sure that you double check, especially at the outlets. Just double check and make sure that the rewards are going towards the items that you want it to go to. Um, and if not, just like try ask if you're able to separate. Um, but 
I was super excited to find these. So these are some of the new single wigs. And this is Amber. It's nice, it's sweet, not too overly sweet, a little deep and heavy there. I'm just making sure that she's not licking the candle like before. Yeah, are you a candle licker? Wild. <laughs> what do you think? You weren't a fan of Amber? Was it too rich for you, darling? <laughs> I really liked this one. Um, I really liked all of them, you know, now that I think about it. Um, here is Cypress. I think she's going to like this one. This is nice, peppery, woody. It's like if you, um, I don't know, like if, if somebody um, was burning some Palo Santo sticks in the house and then there was like this huge um, cellar of pepper and they knocked the pepper over. And that's like the smell. You know, it almost, like even, dare I say, a little bit of the Himalayan salt. Um, if you've ever smelled that, like a little bit of that, um, the pepperiness in that comes to mind. What do you think? Do you like cypress? She's like, um, oh, she's spending more time with cypress. Okay. You feeling it? Say it's more woodsy. It's more up your alley. She's like, girl. <laughs> okay. We got two more, Elaine. We got two more. All right. Orange Blossom. Oh, yes. And this one's divine. This one kind of makes me think of like, oop, and she's not a fan. Um, it kind of makes me think of like a nice vacation. It's powdery. It reminds me of um, the Jean-Paul Gaultier um, perfumes with that powderiness that it has. But there's also almost like a sweetness of the orange, but I really like this one as well. I know I'm saying that like, I like all of them. And, and <laughs> so, we have a lemongrass now lemongrass was the one that made me like go um what yeah are you liking this one you like the northern brights is it your favorite <laughs> um, so lemongrass was the one that i smelled and i was like oh my gosh i ha i have to take these home today um it made me go and search for the bags oh so good. Well, do you like lemons when you? It's like, um, no, the girl's not a fan of lemons. Of lemons. Why you not a fan of lemons, baby? Um, this one smells like, like you're here where these lemons are. It is, it's so nice, so refreshing. And I personally, like, I just love this little collection because I mean, look at the aesthetics, like, oh. and they even have, like, a, a, hopefully you can um, tell, but, like, they have a gray, and y'all know I love gray, like, clearly in my little, it's supposed to be a robe, but, like, I've been wearing it as a jacket, because, I don't know, I just feel like it's very fashionable, because it looks like a comforter, and it feels like a comforter, um, but I picked this up from Target, just in case you're looking for it, um, but, I don't know. It's just something about the gray and the black and then how it's just like, it just looks very luxurious, as one might say. Um, but yeah, so pick those up. And last but not least, I picked up this cute little honeycomb. Um, so I was very like on the fence about this one. Um, I saw it, but then I was like, ah, oh, do I need it? And then, uh, I don't know. When I picked up, it's like, it's very light. Like, what? When? When? What are you doing? You fall asleep? You can't fall asleep on the job. Um, it's very light. Like, I could easily pick it up and bounce it. But when I saw it in store, it's like, before the very first time I saw it there were six of them and I feel like every time I keep going into store the numbers are dwindling down so I didn't want to run into the risk of like them selling out um once the rest of the beehive finds out about them um but it's $24.95 and it's just it's adorable and the way that the light shines I'm not sure um 
I don't know. I assume that it's made like that, but there's like a little hole it looks like in the bottom, but the way that it reflects um, through the light and around, it kind of makes it look like, I don't know, like there's a couple of them um, in the honeycomb, which gives you the idea that maybe, maybe there's a little bee that lives there. Well, I mean, of course you have this little bee, but yeah. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give in. The husband was like, oh, is there um, anything else that you wanna pick up? And I was like, yeah. And now in hindsight, I feel like I probably should have picked up the frog since that one was a little bit more of a bigger purchase, but like, eh, why not? I was like, let me get this little honeycomb because I've been very on the fence about it. So I was like, let me pick that up. The frog, I feel like the frog is adorable, but I don't know. I'm not a huge, I don't have anything against frogs, but I'm just struggling to think like, how could the frog fit in the decor of the house or like, where he could go other than just like having him because it's a cute piece from Bath and Body Works. I know. And I like say that now and then probably a couple of days from now, like I'm going to haul the frog. So I don't even know why I'm going through this whole overthinking it thing. But yeah, as soon as I get like a nice little coupon, maybe we'll pick up Kermit. You, you want to pick up Kermit? But you, she said don't use her as an excuse. Um, but yeah, so this is my little haul. Um, soon, hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll have a candle sale, I hope. Um, you know, a, a couple of people have been asking, and I'm like, you know, I'm also wondering when we're going to have our next candle sale because, you know, they've had them for $11.95 off of select candles. And I'm like, I get it. They do it for semi-annual sale, but I'm like, I'm ready to get these spring candles and I'm not even a huge spring candle person, but like, I really want to, um, pick up book loft and geranium and fern. And what's that other one? Um, the almond croissant. I really want that almond croissant y'all like, but then I'm kind of afraid because the way that Feliz Navidad had a chokehold on me that I did not want to like warm or smell any other candle. I don't know. Are we think we're ready for that? I don't know. But I need it. Okay, I don't need it, but I really, really want it. Anyways, I say all that to say that if I had to hypothesize when we would have our next like real candle sale of like all the candles and the new candles, I'm guessing that it's going to be the Thursday after um, semi-annual sale, like officially, officially ends, um, which hopefully should be coming up soon, like within the next week, because I want to say that I read somewhere that it's either online, I think it said it either ends the 14th or the 19th, I'm not 100% sure, but if I had to guess, I would say that it's whatever Thursday comes after um one of those dates and like one semi-annual sale ends because they're trying to get the most bang for their buck trying to get rid of all the previous candles um and so then hopefully the new ones will go on sale and i wonder how they're going to do it because i believe january i want to say it's like january 21st or somewhere near the end of january the um the Heritage Collection or Black History Month candles should be coming out soon. And so I would imagine that they would want to have a sale to um, get us to buy the spring one candles. And then all of a sudden um, to pick up the, <laughs> the Heritage Collection ones, which those look super cute. I can't wait to see those. Like, Oh, I'm just so excited for something new, but kudos to everyone who purchased the new spring candles at full price. Cause like, I don't know, I'm just too like, I'm too blue collar bougie to, to give it. I'm like, no, they will eventually go on sale. Like I, I'm just going to be brave and hold out. Um, right now I'm thinking if I go to the store and I see another ballet nights, I might pick it up. I have to. I feel like I probably don't need more than two, but I'm like for four bucks and some change, like why not? Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm not really looking for anything except for picking up the new candles on sale. Okay, so there was also um, a candle 
in the same packaging and it was vanilla and I was very like I was on the fence I started to pick it up but y'all it smelled I don't know if it was because I was in the store or what but that vanilla candle it just it did not tickle my fancy um it smelled similar to vanilla extract but it had like a little it had a little something extra in it that was just like, mm. and I had my husband smell through the candle of the store too. And he was just like, yeah, I mean, I guess it smells just like vanilla extract, but like, mm, it's not my favorite. I'm like, yeah, it wasn't my favorite either. I don't, I don't know what is up with it. I don't know if it was, it smelled that way because we were in the store or what. Cause I was like, oh, well, you know. I don't know. Sometimes you get a candle home and it kind of smells different. So I was like, maybe, I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. But then I was like, I just didn't want to waste my reward to get it. Cause like these smell wonderful on cold, like easily. So with that one, I was just kind of like, mm, I will leave that one so I could pick up these other little doohickeys. And yeah, so. I don't know. I don't know. It, it it just, it was not hitting for me. So if someone else um, smells the little vanilla one that's in this packaging, like, let me know what you think, because it just, mm -mm. I wish I could formulate into words better. It was almost like it was vanilla extract, but like it was either sour or it just, it wasn't pleasant. Um, yeah, and it wasn't like vanilla bean smell either. It just, it was off. I'm sorry, it was off. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure I told you guys that because I was like, oh, I picked up all of them except for that one. It is something about that one. It just, it doesn't stay right with my soul. Now, the next time I go into store, then I'll probably check it out and see maybe it smells different in the store this time or like maybe it smells different in a different store, but... That day that I went in, I was like, mm -mm, absolutely not, absolutely not, right? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed our little haul. Little Miss Winnie Benny is acting mean, like she is so tired over here, so we're gonna make sure we go and give her a treat. Um, but yeah, we hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day, and we will catch you in the next video. Bye.